channel 48 my name is Buck Darlington and thank you for tuning in in this video I want to talk about a twerp problem well in fact it's a problem with the touch screen things are twisted around X became Y and Y became X meaning you tap here and you activate here you tap here and you activate there so it's kind of confusing writing something on your keyboard is is kind of impossible yeah uh dialing a number is very tricky because you must dial whatever is at the opposite of that number gladly the metro is still touchable normally but the moment you're gonna touch here it's gonna activate there if you touch there it's gonna activate there so it's kind of crazy problem and people are blaming twerp for it yeah that it's a problem with twerp 3.1 or 3.31 for the s6 in my case but it has nothing to do with twerp it has to do with the boot image now people were as well claiming that they got this mysterious crazy x and y twist around uh yeah by going back to their official firmware but sometimes you know um when you go back to your official firmware uh, and you were running or having a rom that had a certain boot image it could be that when you go back to the official uh, uh firmware that boot image that will replace that boot image will cause a problem for the phone and then suddenly you have a crazy problem things are yeah crazy your touch is, it's not working good the way it should so how to fix this problem and how did it happen well for me it happened after i was testing a rom that did not want to boot so i thought you know out of frustration let me just um um flash in this case uh, uh, image by Linux, Linux OS that was in fact two generations younger meaning or older um, to say this way uh, I used the boot image from let's say a Linux OS 18 on uh, on a ROM that was representing 20 so let's say the ROM is 13 uh, I flashed a boot image from uh, Lineage OS 18 or 19, one of these two, and then the problem appeared after rebooting back into Twerp. Suddenly, everything was twisted around. So this problem has to do something with the boot image. That's why some people, when they go back to stock, you know, they out of nothing have this problem, and people are like, "Hey, is my phone totally useless now? Can we? St yeah, can I still fix it?" You go to phone shops. Phone shops are like, "Yeah, I, I don't know touch. Yeah, you must replace the touch screen." They say. So um, none of that is needed. I'm gonna show you the correct way how to fix this problem. Uh, you will need two files that you can download from samfw.com the fastest place to download any Samsung firmware in the world. The fastest, the very best surface as well in the world. It's completely free and you can link uh, your, your downloads to your G drive. So if you have a G drive, you can fill it up with all sorts of Samsung firmware. It's with one click and it will be sent to your drive. And then whenever you need it, you can then download it. Make sure, of course, you have enough space on your drive. So what will you need to fix this problem? Well, um, I know that Samsung has factory binaries uh, to effect fix any Samsung phone again. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get a factory binary image, uh, firmware that we can get from Sam FW as well, in the same section where you're gonna download uh, the firmware that you're gonna need as well to fix this phone again. So you will need to download two packages. 
uh, the factory binary. In there we're gonna fix uh, the touch again. We're gonna bring the I to the X and the X to the Y again. Okay, so touch will be fixed. That's what we're gonna do. And then uh, we cannot just install twerp if we had a factory binary before the one that is showing the green text uh, at the top of the you're gonna see that in the video uh, because the ROMs will not boot you will first need to really restore uh, back to official before you can install twerp again that will work good and make your ROMs boot as well so I don't know if this was too difficult for you to understand whatever I said but this is about fixing your touchscreen and resetting it and updating the firmware of it so it will work the way it should again so welcome again to channel 48 thank you for tuning in and let's get started today we're gonna take a look at a very mysterious problem in s6 world inverted twerp what is inverted twerp well as you can see nothing happens to make it slide you must do an inverted gesture want to select language you must tap keep reading want to select the ok you must tap here so um yeah these things happen if you test roms and yeah, do crazy things. So how to fix this problem? Welcome back. So I learned that flashing the stock ROM to it, not even the four files that should fix the phone, um, will fix this problem, all right? So that won't work. We need to be in Arden again after restoring and we I'm just gonna hit reset and I'm gonna select AP I go to a folder restore the S6 and there I have a file it's called a combination file it's effect um, yeah a file from from every Samsung phone has its own factory reset file okay so I think that in here we will be able as I know to calibrate the screen again so everything will be set the right way again and that will help us to fix our phone Okay, so what you see now is the flashing of a special ROM, a combination ROM. People as well use it to unlock phones, to bypass uh, yeah, accounts and these kinds of things. And today you're gonna see a usage for what it was in fact meant to do. Fix very deep errors in phones like uh, yeah it's kind of crazy to have an inverted phone it's totally not usable anymore so now it's gonna reboot and now you're gonna see a spinning wheel and a green text saying that and there we go it's erasing it's gonna reboot and now we're gonna see a wheel that and this is the factory binary if a phone is totally not usable in Samsung firmware you could in fact still use it in a way with the factory binary the camera will work radio so if you don't really need the phone as a phone and you can 
not get into the phone because it was from your grandfather and he died and he put a very tough coat into the thing and you cannot bypass it, then you can use it with the factory binary and still, yeah, enjoy at least a part of the phone, the hardware, the sensors, they're all in here. And I think this is the only fix. Somebody was talking about install firmware. Uh, he tried eight and 18 different firmwares and finally one worked. And it was, yeah, I got the firmware, it did not work for me. Thing was still inverted. And then I've been thinking about it. And then, of course, I remembered this amazing firmware that you can as well get at samfw.com okay so what is this all phone yeah yeah memory okay so what can we all do okay that was the version and what is this oh yeah here yeah. Red, green, blue, receiver, vibration, dimming, sensor, touch, touch. This is what we need. You see? So, um, we must hit touch here. Oh boy. This problem is. This works then I, oh gosh, we cannot even calibrate. Now this is not a calibration application, this is to see if everything is, you know, set on place, but it's not. As you can see, uh, I'm touching, uh, <laughs> but I'm activating other, other, other sections. So here you can see that the touch is not calibrated and it's it's totally weird so you know what uh i cannot get out of this mode so i'm just gonna hard press the phone off and reboot it back and then let me show you what to do to fix this problem Okay, welcome back. So now, now we need to tap, try to get to tap this one here. The one with the little numbers, okay? So let's try to tap it. Okay, and now we're gonna type this number. Where is it? Here. Okay, read it. Type that. I, I'm gonna try to type it with a little bit of pain. Uh, let me see. Uh, Sterretje. Hekje. Twee. Zes. Zes. Drie. And then the square. That will bring us in this screen. And up here you see TSP FW Update Factory. Go for the middle one, just tap that one and let the firmware be fixed. And if we get a pass, then we're good to go. And then we just fixed our touch screen again. So let's go one back and see if L, yeah, you see, it all works. It all works again and your touch screen is correctly fixed. So now we need uh, to go back into a download mode and flash the official uh, stock firmware uh, to it. Okay, and uh, yeah, then you can go ahead and install Twerp again and do whatever you have to do to fix your phone. Congratulations. The touch screen is fixed and that with thanks to 
in fact the code that we typed in the factory binary calculator so we could reset this uh yeah this touch the touch <laughs> yeah. oh that's all that there is to it peeps uh, the phone is fixed again even created a nice uh, ROM for it that i'm gonna present uh, with the other tablets that are as well made nice beautiful ios 16 pet roms and even phone roms so you'll be seeing more of that in the next video i want to thank you for watching uh, leave this video a thumbs up don't leave without leaving this video a thumbs up if it helped you or if you learned something again right uh, so yeah it's up to you i'll see you in the next video again stay well god bless you and have a nice day